I'm so glad someone's finally asking this question. My problem is that I'm too hot, too successful in my career. I make too much money. I have too many amazing friends and family. My biggest problem is that everybody thinks I'm sexy. I don't believe you. Welcome to the new channel, guys. Everything is gay. And listen, I'm not making any character or morality judgments with that title. I just think that it's a fact in 2024. Everything is gay. Let's take a look at a few clips from Instagram that have been confounding me, uh, just making me really confused, frustrated, and angry. There's a theme with all the clips today. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Let's see if you can figure it out. So yeah, let's take a look. You know, there might be a reason why you don't feel manly. Ooh. Hi. So there have been some interesting bills coming out of Florida this week, such as the multiple proposals that would allow the death penalty for anyone who sexually batters a child under the age of 12. Which That's great. That is uh, that is good. I don't see why anyone's complaining about that. We're going to start with the eyebrows first, and I currently uh, use the elf brow lift. All right. Nice eyebrows, dude. We've taken a look at a few clips here, but what was the commonality here? You know, when we take a look at each of these, there's something that's been sticking out like a sore thumb, a thorn in my side. I'll give you a hint. It's clearly something I'm very passionate about. I'm not even being sarcastic or facetious here. It's something very near and dear to my heart. It's something that I would honestly consider like part of my identity at this point. And each one of these clips has been making a mockery of it. Why do all the they thems have such terrible facial hair? Listen, I don't care if you're a boy, a girl, a non-binary, a pansexual, a transsexual, uh, gay, straight, cis, uh, neurodivergent, autistic genius. That doesn't give you an excuse to have piss poor facial hair. I had better facial hair when I was in sixth grade. That's when I started shaving. It was a terrible experience. I hated it. That's why when I became an adult, I just stopped altogether and let the beard consume me. So I don't know if these individuals use facial hair as like a prop to signify some form of gender identity. I don't think that that's okay. I mean, I use mine to hide my double chin. Pretty self-explanatory. Like, dude, my beard is not your prop. You can't appropriate my facial hair. It's disrespectful. Bonus clip. That's a really good question, but it's a bit of a secret. So just come in close, come in close, come in close. You wish you had the balls. Don't assume what genitalia I want or wish I would have. <laughs> I'm using language against you. Honestly, I cannot roast that guy, that girl, that them. I cannot roast them because uh, that mustache was actually pretty mighty. So, well, you know what? Credit where credit is due. But let me know if you agree, if you disagree, uh, or you can tell me that you hate me in the comment section. That's totally fine. But uh, either way, everything is gay. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you for subscribing to my new channel. Get ready for weekly content here. And you probably already follow me on Instagram, but go ahead, check me out over there as well. All right, bye.